thank you for watching this Rockin' and Roman video. In this video, we're gonna show you how to level your RV when you back it into a spot. Having your RV level is just better for the RV. It helps with your propane fridge, propane appliances, and also with your water pump pulling from your tanks. So you do want to try and get level whenever possible. In the comments below, let us know if you have any other tips for leveling your RV. So after Tyler backs it in and we find a nice spot, we have to make sure the RV is level from side to side. So inside we have two like little leveler bubble things and I open the door and I just check them really fast to see which side needs to be raised on the tires. And then I put blocks or like little, they're, called, they're like little Lego things, you put them under the tires. So you can see it's really high on the side where the door is, so I need to raise the other side up uh, quite a few inches, and I'm actually going to raise it more because that's the, slide, that's the side that our slide out is on, and once the slide out slides out, it, it makes it unlevel again and it puts more weight on that side. So in our back apartment here, where our outside grill is, we have all of this stuff. We have like our electrical dog bones and then we have these Lego things that I use to uh, make the RV level side to side and then we have the wheel chocks which are really important to chalk your wheels. So these are what I'm going to grab right now. So after I grab them I take them to the side that needs to be raised and I do a, like a little pyramid so the wheel goes over it nice and easy. Here Kinsey's setting up the leveling blocks and they kind of stack together like Legos. Wherever you are, usually you have to set them up a little bit differently. Um, if you have more, then you can set up a big pyramid like this. For us, this didn't work and we actually had to set it up differently. So after you get them set up for the wheels, then you have your partner back the trailer up and you need to let them know when to stop so the wheels are directly on top of them. As you can see, they need to be spaced farther apart. Also watch how when we put weight on it, the blocks actually sink just a little bit into the ground, so keep that in mind. Keep coming. And uh, stop. Pull forward, that's not gonna work. I actually changed it up a little bit because I didn't work for our wheels. So I actually split it into two separate um, like little piles, with which are all the same length. I put them right behind each wheel, so that way he can just back up like a foot and he'll be on each of them. Yep. As the driver, it's really easy to back all the way over these blocks and come down the other side. So you just kind of want to rock the RV onto them. That way you don't have a whole bunch of momentum that will carry you over. So I'm just trying to rock it onto the top and stop as soon as I feel like I've got past that friction point. Keep coming. Stop. Stop. I'm going to go and check the leveler again to see what it looks like. And remember, if that is the side that your slide out is on, then you'll want that side to be a little bit higher because once the slide out comes out, it will weigh that side down more. So I'm pretty sure that looks good because once we slide the slide out, out, it'll weigh that side down just a little bit more and I think it'll be just perfect if not off by just a little bit. One thing to always remember is to make sure to put your wheel trucks in before you disconnect your RV from the truck. So we also have a leveler for knowing how to level it front to back and it's pretty much the same concept as side to side but it'll be front to back. So now we do the front jack and we carry this little landscaping cinder block because we find in sandy environments it helps just give a nice platform for the foot of the jack. We're going to use the front jack to level the RV front to back and remember the bubble will always go to the highest point. So if the bubble is towards the front of your RV, that means the front is higher than the back. 
was up here, which meant that our front was higher. So what we did was we lowered the front of the RV until the bubble moved back to the middle part. This is on our slide out. So the front of the RV is over there, the back's over there. So it tells us front to back levelness. And then over here is where our other one is that Kenzie's been showing you. And this tells us left to right. So what she was saying was when you have it leveled, it should actually be just a little bit high on the slide outside. So you want the bubble just right on the line of the slide outside because once the slide out comes out, it is going to weigh that side down and make it lower. And then the bubble will come this way right into the middle. So have the bubble just a little bit towards the side that your slide out is on if you only have one slide out. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let us know down in the comments if you have any other tips or questions about leveling a RV. Also check out our entire how-to series where we go over many different parts of RVing and RV life. We hope to see you soon and have a blessed day.